Okay, so as we're training for the over the board tournament, um, in the next tournament it's like the 1500 or below, so the maximum we'll be playing is like somebody rated like 1500 on the dot. Uh, so I'm just going to play against the stockfish level 3, which is I think around about the 1500 mark ish. So let's crack on and we'll open with a nice basic steady E4 and obviously it's going to move a lot faster than a human as well which is kind of off-putting so we're going to have to try and take our time going for the slow Fianchetto thing but as we say it is a computer so really um, that's probably going to be beneficial for them I'm going to develop the knight and we'll see if we can go and castle and then I'm just going to go and castle and king safety so the basics have been done as far as I'm aware so we are interested in pushing here they obviously know that we're going to do that but um, I'm going to stick with what I would go with and then just simply take here but it's not a blitz match it's a long, game, long play game and at this point because he does have the bishop there he's champion in that area I am considering just simply pushing the pawn here so he's just done a simple defence there, stopping the bishop from mobilising towards here. So he's obviously going to be bringing this pawn down, either to attack this pawn or something. Could develop the bishop out, but we can't attack the queen just yet. Could bring it to here, but then it does have a fork. Could bring it to here just to bring it out. This bishop still has this. Let's bring the bishop out. The knight's out attacking the pawn. We can defend by pushing the pawn here or bringing the bishop here. Bishop is still protecting. Could push the pawn onto the knight. Knight comes here. We take the bishop. Take the uh, take the knight. Or in fact, he's probably going to come here to attack our bishop if we do that could bring our knight out or maybe to here which one outside or in don't really want to block the pawn because I'm probably thinking it needs to be coming here because it does have the bishop looking to rain down on it so I'm actually going to bring the knight out to protect the pawn So he's castled, so at this moment in time there's no breakthrough, so he's either looking at this type of situation. And I think if we do this first, because of this bishop chomping at the bit to get this. And they're giving up the knight. I don't think they'll take with this inside pawn, I think they'll take with this pawn. It's got more pawns in the centre type of situation. So we can't push here, his knight's on there. Could go for an x-ray through with the bishop and the pawn is protecting the knight i'm going to x-ray through to the queen no, he's not, not interested just straight away attacking if we go here we kind of maybe lose the impetus bring this back got a little square here we can hold court on Mm hmm let's go back he's not interested in any of that so we could push here but his knight simply takes which is a shame but we do have an opportunity to start a little bit of an obliteration of the center could take the knight but then it's just bringing this pawn into the middle but are we going to rule the day we're not capturing stuff we don't want to be too fancy and arty going to capture the pawn queen captures instead okay right that was a surprise so we could bring the bishop here attacking the queen knights it's not going to take the knight it's probably going to stay here because it's got a 2 on 1 on the pawn and on the knight sorry ok 
can bring the knight here and attack again if he does that he might just come to the other side attacking the bishop okay let's attack the queen so the queen's gone right back uh, I think he's still looking to take here because he's got like the 2 on one thing still okay but we can take the knight and then also take the pawn as well if that works out so grab here and if he takes back with the pawn take here then we're on his rook but I think we're going to have to move the bishop back he's on the pawn ah man we've given up the pawn <sighs> nothing's attacking the bishop at the minute so we could bring the knight here or we could push the pawn to defend it's just that this pawn then is going to be stealthing but at this moment in time we do have the x-ray through to the queen just bring the queen here get it off the back defending the pawn though and then he does have this and then the bishop attacking the queen knight up attacking his queen so the queen's queen's right okay probably oh dear me I am playing a computer don't forget <laughs> I have not to forget that um, okay right so let's uh, grab the bishop I'm gonna grab the queen attack the rook it's moving a bit fast now this is supposed to be a long play game and he's looking to get the pawn in here then he's attacking the knight then he can take the pawn with his rook yeah it's all for the fact of this bishop coming for this pawn any forks? No. Knight attacking the rook. But then he still gets this pawn. <laughs> right, okay, I think. Push the pawn, defending the pawn. The knight can move, and then he's on the pawn. It's all to do with this pawn, isn't it? Knight attacks the rook. Rook takes, rook takes, rook takes the pawn. I can't be wearing them apples. Push, knight moves. What's he attacking? Knight moves, knight moves, something like there. Pawn, it's not protected. Okay, if the knight moves, right, okay, so there we push the knight moves somewhere, then we attack the rook because we're attacking the higher piece. If his rook does take, then the knight can take and it's protecting the pawn for a brief moment oh but his knight is going to be on it his knight will be on the pawn as well oh damn 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 so attack his rook see his rook takes Then the knight takes, protecting the pawn. I don't, I don't see. I don't think he's going to do that. Though. Okay, let's attack a higher piece with a lesser piece. It's doubling up. Okay, so we can push here. Then his knight moves somewhere to attack the pawn with the bishop.
Rook can put a check on his king, but then he's going into safety here, isn't he? Uh, then we're on the back, then we have to push the pawn up to protect. Then the knight moves, because he wants the pawn. Then we can push the pawn. Push the pawn first, maybe. Don't like the fact he's just got a hidey hole here. Push the pawn. His knight comes down to attack the pawn as well. We push up. And has he got some magical fork? Knight comes here attacking our rook but also attacking this pawn. Oh, that's a nice little pattern that they've got going for themselves. Knight comes there, 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 so the rook would have to come here. Or oh, put a check on his king. King just moves there. Just simply go here, there's no point. So go here. Bishop can attack the rook if it needs to come across. Yeah, that's what he's going to do. So do we just take the knight off the board with the bishop? We'll take, then takes. Oh no, because then if we push the pawn here, the, the bishop just takes there. So that's no good. Anything else for the knight? Or do we just simply bring the rook up, protecting? But then he's got two rooks on there, so that's not going to work. Could bring the knight back again, protecting the pawn. Gives a little scope for a, a fork here on the rooks. Obviously he's not going to wear them apples, so he's going to come probably here attacking the knight. Then we can push the pawn to protect. Oh, it's getting a bit too too heavy now isn't it let's go here with the knight protecting the pawn straight away attacking so we can defend like we said uh, okay so we defend what else is attacking here does it is he sacrificing nah it's not sacrificing this knight wants to get in the game somehow yeah the knight will be coming here and it's got like a two on one on the pawn Ouch. And we can't swing, well we can swing there. Then it's still going to win this pawn after all of that. Well we could swing here and attack in the rook, whichever. But if we did that, he could still take the pawn because then he's defending the rook here. It's all to do with this damn pawn, isn't it? Unbelievable. Oh, rook check. Is a sort of a tempo win of some sort. Rook check, he then moves. Just, is that improving my positioning at all? So if we did that, then he's just going to take the pawn here. Dun dun dun. Rook check. Just to be annoying. Then he comes there. We go here. His knight comes down for the pawn. Oh, how, what are they thinking? What are they thinking? It actually shows we're plus one. We're plus one, so why are we being greedy wanting to hold on to this pawn i just think because positionally it does look quite good for us if we can keep that pawn but i don't think there's anything else we can do about it could attack 
the rook with the pawn, a smaller piece attacking a higher piece. His rook's attacking our knight. So what does he do? Simply just maybe just doubles up or keeps the file because he wants the pawn. I think keeping the file because he wants the pawn probably. But he's probably not going to go there, is he? Because the knight can go and harass it. Although he may do, because then the rook just comes down and takes the pawn. So, yeah. small piece attacking the higher piece. Just drops back. Uh, the knight's taking that pawn anyway, isn't it? Mm. Okay, and then we go up. Knight drops down, attacking the pawn. Uh, we attack his rook. This pawn has got no protection on, so either the knight takes our knight or the rook just moves out of the way. If that happens, we move the pawn up a little bit. Okay, let me see. We'll push onto the rook with a smaller piece. Oh, it's gone right back. So it's gone out of the way of any checks from the knight. Okay, cokey, cokey. Could look to try and be a bit proactive attacking unprotected pawn. My knight is unprotected at the moment, so I don't need to be getting carried away. Um, bam, 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 bam. I think we're struggling with these pawns here, aren't we? Now we have to um, do something with the knight. And it doesn't have anything active to attack. So it looks like... Because I can't even push the pawn up now. <laughs> oh, crikey. I could bring my rook here, but that's going to be easily attacked with the pawn here. And there's no safe square for it to go onto. Damn, I think we've lost a bit of tempi somewhere. No, it's not good, but I just went, oh, there, because we've got the bishop hitting one of the rooks. So if the rook did take the knight, then we take his rook. Obviously, that isn't going to happen, but we get one of them. So they may just, uh, oh, that's an interesting one. He can block. What else can he do to be interfering? I think that looks better than all the other options, I think. Oh, we do get a rook up the exchange. Don't get too happy though, because we are playing a computer. Uh, there's nothing else, is there? Just take some time let the thing marinate and this is what I have to learn to do in over the board it feels like a free gift but uh, we've done work to get to this position uh, that feels okay doesn't it really I mean I think he's got to take okay he's got to take the knight now hasn't he yeah so they take the knight so we do have a check on the king, but it is a nugatory check in a sense, because he just goes here. Um, so we could look to see if he wants to exchange his rook off now. It's always going to be going... So we could look to see if that happens. Um, let's see if that works. Mm, 
no it's not happening having any of that I just wish that this one was here and then we could go and do this so it's going to be angling for the this pawn here isn't it but we do have space to come here I think Ooh, before I move let me just look because he has a valuable piece which is the knight if we come here and x-ray through to his bishop looking to reduce down the pieces now his knight can move I just I was panicked then because I thought can they put a check on our rook his knight can move let's just bring an x-ray through to the bishop wow he's moving a bit quick now so he's actually on the pawn so I'm just taking the bishop off the board, reducing down. And we've seen these games before. And it, like if we have a knight as well, a knight and a rook against a, two rooks, um, we can play quite nicely with them. So this doesn't mean we've won just because we're up the exchange. This pawn position should be up, should work for us. And we've been trying to practice these pawn endings like crazy. So I am actually going to try and take my time and get the right rhythm here this rook at the minute is kind of it's not really doing anything this is like a key square we could push on to the knight but I think it's looking to jump in here so do we just simply just support this pawn being pushed up get taken if he comes here he could take and then we take back and could come up here to attack this pawn we could then attack it again then it's around attacking this pawn on the back ok I think that's what they're going to potentially do so we might need to do some preventative action coming here attacking the rook is defending so we don't probably need to get bent out of shape too much so then if we bring this across to support the pawn pushing up maybe what was the move order move order was moving the rook attacking well supporting the pawn he comes up maybe to attack here or has he got something else he's got the pawn but then we'll take the knight so maybe he pushes his pawn looking to try and dishevel my rook because my rook is in the center of the board isn't it people and this square is being protected so if he pushes this pawn after I've gone here my rook is not best placed but what is he what's he planning to do because the thing is if he does do that then we still just take the knight off the board so I don't think we need to worry too much about that unless of course he starts bringing his king across and around defending the rook then we'll have a bit of an issue because we can't take the um, knight back so it's a bit of a future tense thing don't really want my rook sitting here being trapped like that already and the game hasn't even started so I think the initial idea after all of that was to touch onto the knight with the pawn but then the issue was he comes across here attacking this pawn because our rook is no longer defending so if we push this pawn to defend this pawn yeah that's right isn't it I think last time I thought that this pawn was here still hanging and the rook would be able to take so push knight comes across defend with the pawn got to watch these knights 
uh, knight comes across. Ooh, yeah, pawn pushes down onto the rook, which is currently defending this pawn. And that, does that mean we can? Oh, we can't because the pawn is there. Ooh, so that's where we end up in that funky situation, and then he can come down here. And then we lose the pawn. Ah, yeah. Yeah. I might be overthinking it, but I've got to take that time. Oh, come on, come on. What is it now? It's definitely... I don't think it's this anymore, is it? I think it's a matter of... So what's the concern that this pawn will push down onto here at some point? So hitting the knight is not really working for us because of that. Bringing the rook here, supporting the pawn. That's nothing too major, is it? Then he comes to attack the pawn, the knight, like we say. Okay, I think I think I'm gonna go with this one. Okay, so they're just blocking off at the minute. So making sure that this pawn can't escape so that his knight can go and attack it. So if we push it still goes to attack. But we can push. We can push with the support of the rook. This rook then is now supporting the pawn. So, so this pawn is also attacking their knight. It can come back again to where it came from. And it's got a little bit of a outpost here for its little self. Never to be moved. Okay, let's um, see if we can continue with that. Oh, it's gone totally different way to what I thought it was going to go. So we're planning to just push. So this is a whole... Yeah, this calculation thing really hurts your brain because he's, he's not doing anything that I'm thinking. He's moved out to come back in somehow with his knight. At the minute can't go here because the rook can take but do we lose tempo what is his plan it's got an outpost here <clears throat> so if we push if we push then he's probably envisaging blocking our rook and what does this outpost give him that position again attacking the pawn Not forgetting that this pawn can push down. Okay, so if we went like this, say the pawn did push. Um, uh, but did you? Are we looking to sit here to try and come across? Let's go attempt the push. The pawn does actually push. I, I genuinely didn't think it was. So do we go here, like we said, are we trapping ourselves, is there a fork? This knight is probably looking to come here, isn't it, and does it have some sort of, no, that's too short, there we go, so here, and it's on the on the pawn and also on the rook as well so if we did go there he jumps here he's got like a two on one so we'd have to drop back but then he gets all fancy with the next move which would be I don't know can't see it oh 
or do we just go behind the pawn to try and keep pushing don't want to waste it I think going up gives him a little bit of play don't it whereas if we just come across here then he's not really got play I suppose he can push his pawn down we can keep pushing and then slowly get the rook up here and maybe take this pawn off the board I think that's probably safer to do that rather than giving them some sort of ideas of being in the game okay so we can push or we can just leave the pawn and if the knight takes the rook takes so that's uh, maybe a positive or we can just push we push then I don't want to push him into a good position so he has the possibility of doing this which is again attacking two pieces which is the rook and the pawn so again that means me having to move off of the line mm, yeah I'm trying to avoid giving him play in the game he seems to be mastering that quite nicely we could he's got a 2 on 1 so there's no point if I did that takes takes then he's got the 2 on 1 situation there we could do a small move like this to see what he wants to do now if he does take then obviously we take the knight maybe if we bring this pawn up because then when they do come here then I'm not so precious about having to move my rook and stay on this file I can just move it backwards yep okay I'm gonna go with the small move here oh the king's getting in the game that I go so if we push we know this is happening so he's attacking our rook we bring our rook up we're attacking this pawn yeah okay I think I'm gonna push here and just move the rook up like we said attacking the pawn and if if we push the pawn if it comes here don't want to miss out on anything just push the pawn so then if we get a queen then the knight takes, rook takes, rook takes we must be up something there mustn't we yep knight takes rook takes, his rook takes, our rook takes his rook so we'll go with that so take he's not going for the exchange Okay, so that makes it a little bit difficult for us because remember we are playing a computer um, it's, it looks like we've got a nice position at the minute we're definitely up the exchange now coming towards the end game but these types of things can be fluffed quite easily so I need to really sort my end game out so it's kind of it's got three places that can go up and down so he could look basically fight for a draw so if we went and attacked his rook also attacking the pawn but got to be mindful um, okay so it, say he moves down and we go and take the pawn he comes here looking for a back ranker we push up he moves his king down right let's run that run through this before we go steaming in there so does it have to be this pot rook could it not just be this one okay and then this one's keeping the king safe so if we attack the rook if he doesn't want to exchange say he wants to stay on the line because he wants to protect this pawn then we can take this pawn quite freely without any fear of the back rank checkmate situation okay I think that's 
better than bringing the back rock up. Oh, and it does capture. So now this should be pretty straightforward now, shouldn't it? Okay, I'll just bring the rook across. Uh, I don't think the computers know what resignation is, do they? So um, let's go here. Um, may as well take this off the board just as a so I think this is job done really isn't it coming for the rook so we just bring this here in fact why did I do that that was silly I should have just gone up here blocking his king all together ok let's go let's just keep pushing get the queen nice defense actually let's go here try to avoid stalemates now it's got lots of movement let's go here let's put the check on and let's keep moving mm -mm 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 -mm. Let's put a check on just to let him know we're here. Let's put another check on. And definitely don't want any stalemate type games, so let's just go here. And let's just fight for it a bit. Wow. Okay, yeah. Thank you very much. Stockfish level 13, uh, potentially 1500 level. That was really an interesting game, wasn't it? Um, yeah, it felt it felt like I actually was playing a real person because um, it wasn't coming out with two magical things. Um, it had in the early part the position for that pawn, you know, attacking that pawn with that Fianchetto bishop because we understand that Fianchetto type situation. We don't like it. We. Um, and because we don't like it we've done our research into understanding well what is the power base for it it's such a slow slow move but in reality what it's targeting is this area here and trying to dishevel that position so i think we did focus long and hard on i mean this is a long recording but i'm not apologizing for it this is my training um for the over the board stuff so yeah i'm not going to go through it all at all in any way shape um, we went through the game but yeah, that key thing of the pressure, potential pressure on this particular pawn here from the Fianchetto type situation. And we found nice appropriate positions and we captured where necessary to kind of improve the position, position that we had on the board. So we'll be playing lots more games um, at this level three because that's the realistic type of level type person that we'll be playing against. That's the higher level and I'm really pleased that that really genuinely felt like I was playing a human that was really good well done Leiches or Leiches whichever